Well, hey everybody, my name is Sarah Dibburn and I am your new youth minister. That's a pretty fun sentence to say. Um, I'm currently serving on staff at Woodbury Lutheran Church in Woodbury, Minnesota, which is an east suburb of St. Paul. Um, I currently oversee birth through 12th grade at one of our campuses and I'm the social media manager for all of Woodbury Lutheran's platforms. And y'all, I am so excited to begin this journey with you. I'm excited to get to know you, to hear your stories, uh, to cheer you on at, at your games, your concerts, your plays. Um, I'm so excited to do life with you. And I, as I was thinking through how I was going to introduce myself, I thought I could share a bunch of random facts about me. That could be a thing that I could do. Or I could text some of my college kids and ask them the question, what is it like to have Sarah Dibburn as your youth minister? So I texted three of my college kids and I have their responses here, so I'm gonna read them to you. Uh, the first one is from Allie. She's a junior up at the University of Minnesota in, in Duluth. Uh, Sarah sa or Allie says, you have the ability to have fun and joke around, but can get serious when it's needed. You have interests like the cabin, dinosaurs, rubber chickens, and social media, so you're able to connect with us there too. You like to compete and do things with the youth, which makes it super fun and even more competitive. Um, I am a very competitive person. I also really like dinosaurs and rubber chickens, so that's spot on. Next, we've got Matthew, who is a freshman at Concordia University in St. Paul. Uh, Matthew said, I would say that Sarah is a person who knows how to have fun, but also knows when to be serious. She is fun to be around and does well at making things enjoyable. No one should talk to Sarah before 9 or 10 a.m. And please make sure she's had her coffee. I'm not a morning person, guys. I age into the day. It's, it's fine, but those first few hours are rough. So just make sure that I have coffee, and specifically black coffee, and then I'm, I'm golden, y'all. And, and finally, this one's from Dylan, who's a junior at Hillsdale College in Michigan. Dylan says, what is it like to have Sarah as your youth minister? Hmm. Lots of games you never thought you would play, usually involving a concerning number of rubber chickens. Lots of well-placed sarcasm and side comments that should not be taken too seriously. Lots of laughs and lots of quotable conversations. But Sarah also has so much wisdom and passion for the word and the love of Jesus. She's somehow the most relatable person you'll ever meet, and this makes her lessons and advice all that more impactful. She always remembers what's going on in your life and takes the time to ask about those specific things. She pushes you to do better and is always willing to work with you through whatever you may have for her. All around, solid youth minister, 8.6 out of 10, would recommend. So really what you guys need to know about me is that I do love things like dinosaurs and rubber chickens. I am sarcastic. I am not a morning person. I will be able to reference any musical or any pop culture thing at the drop of a hat. But what you also need to hear from me is that um, I have been serving in youth ministry in some capacity for about 14 years now. And over the span of the 14 years, I have walked a lot of life with a lot of students. I have showed up for them. I have joked with them. I am the one that always gets made fun of by them. You'll realize that I am a pretty easy target when it comes to that. Um, but I have been able to spend a lot of years pointing students like you to the cross and showing them that God is bigger than all of their things that they have going on. So I am so excited to join you here in a little bit. I ask for prayers as, as I leave uh, Woodbury Lutheran, a place that's been home for me um, on staff for eight years, but home for 34 years. And guys, I am so excited to be able to speak words to you, to do life with you, and to show you and tell you over and over again that God is for you, and he sits with you, and he sees you. I will see you in a little bit, my friends.